okay, um, once again, I, uh, I said I was going to do post updates at AutoCon, and of course the internet at the hotel stunk. It, it's just my luck that I had to be at a hotel that was across the street from the convention, and so was uh, so many other people, and so much of the fact that the internet was impossible to get access to. Like, you couldn't even load up uh, the simple web, you know, the homepage on my, on my browser. That's how slow the internet was. Uh, so I'll try to do another wrap-up again right now. Uh, starting off the day, getting to, uh, I had to pick up my friend Vino, and then we drove to our friend Anna's after I had to drive back to my place because I forgot something. Yeah, it always helps to make sure that you know that you have everything and have a checklist with you. It comes in handy. Uh, then driving back, then meeting everybody there, and then getting everything into uh, Andrew's... I guess parents minivan <laughs> to get there because it was just the five of us going down. Uh, let's see here. After that, uh, <laughs> then not even more than more than I think ten blocks, we for realized we had forgotten something and had to drive back. So I've got mostly video on that. So that was fun. And then driving all the way to Baltimore. And then yeah, <laughs> I have to say we made a pretty good timing. We left around like say three or four. We got there around like six thirty, seven o'clock. And uh, we made some pretty good time. We only made one stop, and we made some pretty good time. I think it was easier getting to Baltimore than it was getting back. Uh, getting there, we checked into the hotel, getting everything settled in. Uh, poor... <laughs> Actually, um... Uh, what was it? You know, now that I realize it, I think I... I think I know what happened to Andrew's back light. I just realized this. Uh, when we were trying to park the car to get have Anna get every, get us uh, checked in. Uh, Andrew backed into like the pole that sort of like is the gate to the parking lot and I don't know maybe he didn't notice that he didn't break it or but he, he checked but he looked everything didn't look fine so I mean of course the thing was made out of plastic and rubber so I don't think it would would have caused that much damage. Uh, but uh, once we get checked in, settled in, and everything, um, and took care of the sleeping arrangements, uh, we all got our stuff and went in line to get our badges at, uh, AutoCon, which was really great. It's a nice little convention center, something small, you know, uh, the Baltimore Convention Center. It's really nice, uh, small. A lot of business around there, uh, especially near the waterfront area, because afterwards we went to this, uh, nice little Irish pub in the little plazas which was about maybe a block or two away from the convention center. Got something to eat, came back. Funny thing was, uh, uh, what was it? Our friend uh, Mike, who basically came by train and we had to pick him up, he brought his PlayStation and J the other Jason, <laughs> uh, Jason went out of Facebook. Uh, I would call him the other nickname, but I don't want to be racist. Um, basically brought his Wii, so we tried to hook up the television to the Wii, and we couldn't do it because apparently the uh, company, the hotel is very, I guess, strict on that sort of stuff, and they've, so we had to actually try to find some AR cables, uh, like the old screw IR cables. Funny thing was, <laughs> funny thing was, we found out that there was a GameStop supposedly in the area that was across, we thought it was in the plaza that we were in. Uh, but the thing was, uh, we, we all chose, like, not it, and poor Vino, who was practically out of his mind at that moment, <laughs> didn't realize that he got picked and he got sent. So we sent him on a wild goose chase, and then later we asked the waitress, um, if there was a GameStop, because she worked in the plaza, and she said, no, there's not, and he's like, oh, God, and we all t had a laugh, uh, excuse me, uh. so, you know, we went around, and walked around and stuff, uh, picked up some supplies, uh, then, what was it, Sean and Anna, no, Andrew and Anna picked up Mike, and then stopped at a Walmart to pick up some more stuff, so, go from there. Uh, the next day, uh, Anna dressed up like, uh, Smurfette, in her own way, I dressed up like the Tenth Doctor, uh, it was kind of, everybody pretty much did his own thing, because Vino was the only one who didn't get a badge. Uh, he had to go to the con of the day of the con and to buy a badge. And, uh, they were a little bit more to buy at the con than pre-registering there. 
Uh, later on, that yeah, so we all walked around. Anna went to a, a, a fashion show because there was a, her one of her fashion favorite fashion designers were there for her style of clothing that she likes called Six. It's a Japanese uh, fashion design. Hers, uh, she really loves those guys, so she saw them. Uh, Andrew and I walked the, the the dealer's floor, not the exhibition, the dealer floor, because there wasn't really anything. There was a dealer and an artist alley, and they were separate. So we walked around, and then Andrew and I went our separate ways. I went back to the hotel, and I came back with Andrew later on, and then, and then we, um, what, what did we do afterwards? I think we went to get something to eat, and then we, yeah, I think... Where did we go to eat afterwards? Because I know, I know for lunch we went to the California tortilla that was across the street from the convention center. Uh, place was packed. Could not. You had to wait like for nearly an hour to get food in there. But they were. We were all dying for food because we were starving. And apparently they. Anna said this place was really good. It was like even better than Chipotle. And it is because they have a better, wider selection of of stuff. Um. I can't remember what we did for dinner. What did we do for dinner? I don't remember. And there's the ice cream truck. There were plenty of those running around. Especially a guy in a microphone going, that what bottle of water for one dollar. You probably seen the guy. <laughs> you probably heard him too. Who knows? Uh, then we, I think, what was it? We went back to the con because they were doing late. They the, the cons, the panels were really late. Like literally, they have like late, late panels and stuff and. What was it? Yeah, we were running around. We went to the Beyond the Tenta Hentai, Hentai Beyond the Tentacle. It was done by this comedic group called uh, Two. Was it Two Comedian? Two? I can't remember. Anna knows these guys. Two comedian, funny guys, or something. Uh, plus two comedians. Uh, yeah, I think that's what their name was. So they basically were just making fun of all the funky fetishes uh, that Japanese men have and all their crazy stuff that they do to get off and making fun of uh, tentacle porn and all that shit. It was pretty funny. Pretty pretty graphic though, but pretty funny. You know, especially, you know, because we had this one chick. She was like, because they needed demonstrations and volunteers. There was like this girl in front of us, like a, a, a seat, a row in front of us. She kept raising her hand for everything. Like, yeah, BB. Like, do you want to be raped by tentacles? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, do you want to give an action figure a lap dance? Oh, 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 yeah, yeah. I was like, Wow, this girl is ever really does not know what she's getting herself into, or she's extremely horny. Let's see here. The uh, third day of the con, Anna and I went as Billy Quiz Boy and uh, Pete White. So, and which really sucked about it, there are a few post pictures, but no actual after we were done with our costumes, you know, getting them all set up. We totally forgot to because. We went to this one panel uh, uh, called uh, Uncle Yo. He was a comedian. He made fun of uh, stuff, nerd stuff, and everything was funny. I was kind of zoning in and out because we, we were going to bed pretty late and then waking up, like, really, really late. <laughs> so that was bad. Uh, then we walked around the con a bit. Um, Anna got, a, got an autograph from her favorite fashion designer. I went with her, and then we walked the con. Uh, then she bought some stuff. I was gonna buy some stuff. I wanted to get like maybe a common writer action figure, but because I've been seeing reviews on them on the YouTube, uh, especially from the uh, guy called uh, Vangelis, uh, he's really does a really good job on doing toy reviews. But you know, considering enough that they were about this big, uh, maybe just a little bit bigger, maybe I don't know, about yay big. They were also like maybe selling them like for thirty bucks, and they were like from the uh, SH Figure Arts, and I've been here. They've been doing some really good work with that. The thing was, I wasn't sure to like, do I really want to pay thirty bucks for something this small? And then I'm just gonna keep in the box. Probably yeah, I would have. Uh, then we checked out the artist. No, we didn't check out Artist Alley until next week. So we came back. Um, we went to this Chinese restaurant. Uh, we were gonna go to PF Chang's, but it was just really oh, we were really out of our price range. Uh, because P.F. Chang's is really expensive, but really good food. Andrew found this Chinese restaurant. Word of advice, never let Andrew navigate, because I don't know why. His navigation systems are, like, really messed up, and we walked pretty much in from the nice part of Baltimore all the way into the ghetto, and when you've got four white kids dressed all in black <laughs> walking in the ghetto, you tend to worry. Yeah. You tend to worry. 
Uh, we went, well, the, the food over there was good and everything. Uh, bad thing about the restaurant, uh, when you order the dumplings, cut them in half. Don't take them by the chopsticks and then eat them whole. I kind of had got a, the oil from the dumplings squirted out and hit me in the mouth and my face a little and my clothes. And I think I gave myself like a one degree burn on my lip that's left a little bit of a, a, a scar right here. I'm putting cream on it to help me out. Uh, but then afterwards, we went back to the hotel, chilled out a bit. Anna and I went with a friend of hers to a nightclub called, nightclub called Orpheus. Uh, it's more of a goth club, but I guess because with the convention in town, they was doing crazy things. Like, they had a lot more uh, hippie-like people there. And Anna wanted to dance, but, you know, the problem was the DJ wasn't really that good. They had a, you know, the people were dancing, but the music just wasn't really good. I mean, it's a nice little place, you know. Good atmosphere and stuff, you know, you know, if you're into the golf club scene. Um, and, you know, they had fire dancers there. I took a couple of pictures. Like, they had a fire dancer for each thing. One with a hula hoop, one with the little finger thingies. And we were there. We were there for a good couple of hours. We met this guy. He, he was real nice. The cool thing about it is he, he bought a round of drinks. It was my turn to buy a round, and... Then all of a sudden, the guy was like, no, you paid already. He's like, what do you mean I paid? I didn't pay. I didn't, I didn't give you my money. He said, no, this guy over here, because he was a real... I think the thing is, he was trying to hook up with Anna. <laughs> but the thing is, she wasn't really into it. I mean, she appreciated the drink, but I don't think she was really into it. You know, first of all, right off the bat, you know, she was lying to the guy about what her name was. She was calling herself Monica. Uh, she had no problem giving out my name and uh, her friend Josh's name, but she was not giving out her name. Uh, so we went back to the we went back to the hotel around like two or something. Uh, went to the con for the last day. Uh, just walked around, mostly went to the artist alley, saw some stuff. Uh, we pretty much packed out and left the hotel by noon, but we were still in Baltimore by there. We didn't really leave until like three. Uh, I drove all the way. Baltimore traffic on the way back was bad for some apparent reason. I guess there was some kind of accident or something, and was blocking up traffic for five miles. And around that time, we were all hungry. And the thing was, we passed up so many Waffle Houses on the way there. We said, oh, dude, you know, we got to hit a Waffle House on the way back. And we did. Nice little Waffle House we went to. It was, it was a small one. I, I don't know if they're all that same same size. Good, actually, good food at a Waffle House if you, see, if you go to one. It's, you know, food's, you know, nice portions, good pricing. And you don't really have to spend a lot. And you could probably walk out of there with, like, five things and still keep it under ten bucks. You know, that's which pretty good. And... We went back, drove home, and that was it. Partly enough, we did some detouring along the way, but we made it back. And then I went home, dropped off Vino, and that was pretty much it. So AutoCon was pretty good. Uh, it's a nice little convention. Mostly more panels than uh, exhibition or dealer stuff. So you're pretty much just seeing a lot more people running around in cosplay, which is really good. Because a lot of a lot of Bleach, a lot of Full Metal Alchemist, a lot of uh, Kingdom Hearts. Pretty much were the big three main things at the con, like people dressing up as. Um, and some other stuff too, but you know, it was really cool. And I, I want to go again, you know, next time we have a con, we have time to go. Uh, probably after this, I don't think I'll be going to any more cons until maybe New York Comic Con, if I can get uh, some of my friends to get together for that one. Uh, I don't want to go alone. Um, it's probably better to go with friends than, than not. So, yeah, that's it, because right now my situation is I'm kind of technically m moving at the end of the month, so um, i got to get a place. So we'll see how that goes, and um, so that's pretty much it. I'll have a new review up by uh, this week and stuff, probably because the location will be a little different, but well, I'll explain that one on the next video. All right, so that's it. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this one. Uh, check out AutoCon if you haven't gone. It's in Baltimore. It's really nice. Uh, great scenery down there. Get some f Maryland fresh crabs, uh, crab cakes. That's all I gotta say. You know, the crab cakes are great down there. So that's it. Bye.